Hey, hey, let's go ahead and talk about some really cool garden hacks. Um, I love using essential oils out in the garden. That way you're keeping an organic garden and you don't have to worry about um, the products that you're using on pests and having them get into your food and then you consuming them. So let's go ahead and talk about this guy. I'm gonna put his little face up there. Um, it's kind of the face only a mother could love, right? Um, he is kind of cute though. He is kind of cute. Um, so these guys, the tomato hornworm caterpillar things, um, they will not be on your plant one day and the next day you go out and they will eat your garden. Um, so what happened to my tomato plants is I've seen them. I've seen evidence of them for the last couple seasons, but I've never caught one. Um, never actually caught one. Um, so the other day I went out and checked the tomatoes and they were doing great. I had so many blooms that were coming out. I was going to get about 20 tomatoes. Um, so I went out the next day and this little guy had eaten three plants. Three. Um, first, I noticed the half-eaten tomatoes that he had munched on and then I found him and I was really surprised um, because he's, he's ginormous. Um, so the easiest thing to do is to immediately just take him off your plants. Um, I could not remove him, so I actually had to get the pruners and cut him off my plant, and then I threw him down our back hill. I gave him a little toss. Um, there's a lot of people that'll go ahead and just kind of, right, when they see him. I don't really know how you do it because, I mean, it's, it's a really big caterpillar. Do you, I, I don't know. I wasn't going to do it. So I just gave him a little toss and I felt, I felt bad because look at his little face. He is cute. He is cute. I did catch him though with his little leaf right there, you know. So here you go. Here is your recipe. If you guys haven't picked up this book yet, go ahead and check this out. It's, uh, I think it's like around six bucks, something like that. So it's called Essentially Grown Naturally, na <laughs> Natural Gardening with Essential Oils. Um, so you can go ahead and um, get this on the Growing Healthy Homes website. That's a really great site. Go ahead and get yourself some resources. Um, so if you're looking through this book, look, it gives you like references, how to use essential oils with your plants, yada, yada, yada. I've gone ahead and done um, classes with this. It's really, really interesting um, how you can do it. So there is a section for pest caterpillars. Um, so caterpillars, various types feed on leaves, stems, and fruits of plants. Um, so check, 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 and check. Um, that's what this guy does. He goes ahead and just climbs up the plant, um, a moth, it's a moth. So a moth will come by, leave its little eggs, and then that's how you're getting the caterpillars. The caterpillars are hatching, they're feeding off your plant, and then they'll go ahead and turn into that moth again. So he's just gonna bearhead the whole entire plant to eat everything it's going to kill your plant um so for the hornworm it's really easy you guys peppermint peppermint and um spearmint i like wintergreen too because it's just really strong um so you can do peppermint or spearmint and those are going to be two really great oils for him um there's another ah so this is another recipe too. This is like a broad spectrum recipe for controlling the little critters. Um, so that would be in, um, this is a gallon size, you guys. I'll break it down for you. Um, 10 drops peppermint, 10 drops thyme, 10 drops clove, gallon jug of water. I use this um, 16 ounce at a time. Um, so if we're breaking it down, it's going to be for every 12 point dot, dot, dot ounces of water, use one drop of essential oil. So if you're using a 16 ounce spray bottle like this guy, um, just go ahead and use one drop. So you can just do one drop of peppermint, one drop of spearmint. If you have wintergreen, go ahead and use that too. But I also like to do the Thieves Household Cleaner. So this is just what I have um, to go ahead and spray down my countertops to clean my whole entire house. So all I have to do is add one drop of peppermint to this and I'm good to go or spearmint or I like to do the winter green too. So all I have to do is add one drop and I can go outside and spray the plants at night and I'm not having to make multiple, multiple bottles of sprays and cleaners and blah, blah, blah. So that's a really simple one. 
Um, so what you do is don't do it in the morning because then the sunlight's gonna hit your plants and you might burn your plants. So go ahead and do this at nighttime. If it's gonna rain, you don't have to spray because it's gonna come off. Um, but after it's um, like evening time, go ahead and spray your plants down like a lot. Like spray, spray, spray everything. You can go ahead and spray the tomato plants. You can go ahead and spray squash. I spray our corn with this. I spray everything with it because the second you stop is when everybody shows up and that's what happened with the tomatoes. I said, gosh, we're having such good luck. Um, I can kind of slack off a little bit and not run out there after dinner and just focus on getting the kids um, upstairs and ready for bath and into bed and I've been forgetting to spray and like I said I went out and I checked the plants every day and they were doing okay we've had kind of like a, a bad growing season for us um, but the plants were great and the next day I went out and he had ate three three plants and that's just one caterpillar one caterpillar ate three plants it was crazy um, so this is a really great book again it's called essentially grown natural gardening with essential oils and you can get this on growing healthy homes it's a website and they have all sorts of resources you can go ahead and pick that up that way you have all these little recipes at your fingertips at home and if you need oils and you're confused about where to start, go ahead and message me, let me know. And let's go ahead and get you started with those. And this is really just great and easy way to go ahead and do your gardening. And you will not regret it because it's simple and you don't have to worry about any of these um, items having chemicals in them that are gonna get into your food. Again, today we are taking care of the hornworm caterpillar, which will go ahead and devastate your garden. So if you have any questions, go ahead and let me know and I will catch you guys next time. Have a great night.